Hey guys. Okay. Well, first of all, happy Friday, my favorite day of the week. Uh, but I'm actually, it's awesome because I'm not at work today. Uh, I had to take the day off and take my oldest to the doctor because he had slipped on the ice on Tuesday and hurt his arm and it was still nagging him. And we were just ruling out that he had a fracture. Uh, so luckily he does not because that means uh, basketball season hasn't been <laughs> ruined. Uh, just rest and ice and um, keeping it immobile um, as much as possible. So we got him a brace and he can still practice and play ball, all that. Okay. So that's why we were at the doctor's office. But the second we walked in, I said, Aaron, don't touch your face. <laughs> and as soon as we leave, we wash our hands. And I'm like, I told him that. Uh, like three or four times. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. Because you guys, have you have you heard? Everybody is sick. Stomach flu is going around. Um, chest cold flu is going around. And that's the last place that a well person needs to be right now is at the doctor's office. Hello. It's like contaminants are everywhere, right? So I knew we were going um, first thing this morning. So Honestly, I, you know, I think the best plan, and, <laughs> let me back up because when I was telling Aaron this, he's like, mom, shut up, like be quiet. He goes, the people here can't help being sick. He's like, you're going to make them feel bad about it. And I was being quiet. I was trying not to be rude, but honestly, I don't want a house full of sick people. Right. And, um, obviously we were in a place where there was a lot of germs. So when I got up this morning, I knew immediately that we were going into that place. And um, so I made sure that I added extra nutrition to my kids' diet. Okay, so what are the things? So, right, all of those people at the doctor's office, all of these people getting the flu, uh, and we don't get the flu shot anymore because I don't believe in it. I believe in arming your body with proper nutrition and balance, keeping your immune system stable and healthy year round, not relying on a shot that can actually damage your immune system. You guys, it's not doing it a favor. Okay. But that's a little controversial. I'm not here to tell you not to get a flu shot. This is just what we do in our family. But what I do, um, want to make sure is like how, so how do we keep our bodies healthy? How do we keep our immune systems functioning properly so that maybe we still get sick, right? I don't know. I'm not, we're not invincible in our house, but we haven't been sick yet this year, not even a little cold. And that's crazy considering like December, I was working 12 to 14 hour days. Uh, you know, I was sleep deprived. You know, I was exhausted. I was wearing my body out and we didn't get sick. So what we do is make sure that we're arming our bodies every single day. This is what's important. I know I heard someone the other day say, well, this time of year, we just load up on emergency and vitamin C and right. And it's not vitamin C is great, right? But it's better to eat the orange. Um, it's better to eat the food. And we want to make sure that it's not just whenever we're feeling like our immune systems are running down that we're doing this, but we're doing it every single day consistently. So the best plan, right, is to do the things that we know are good for our bodies, to eat whole foods, right? Are you eating stuff that's in a package that's been highly processed? You guys, this is damaging our immune systems. Are we drinking lots of water? Most people don't I mean, I don't know how many people I've talked to that don't even drink water. They drink pop or coffee or tea or Gatorade, all of these things that have stuff that are damaging our immune system. You guys, sugar damages our immune systems. So if we're just putting sugary drinks into our bodies every single day, it's weakening our ability to fight disease and illness. All right. So this is important. Um, getting enough sleep. Now I am guilty of not getting enough sleep every day. We need seven to eight hours every night. I don't do this. But one thing that I do for my family every single stinking day, all four of us in our house, um, take our juice plus capsules. You guys, we're getting the nutrition from 30 different fruits and vegetables into our body consistently, not just during flu season, but 365 days a year. You guys, this is so important that we're getting this nutrition into our bodies. And it is food, you guys. It is whole food nutrition. It's like Jetsons. It's like 
it's concentrated fruits and vegetables in a capsule so that we know that we can get that nutrition in every single day. Now, do I still uh, feed my family lots of fruits and vegetables? Heck yeah, I do. Every day. Every day we eat as many as we can, but you guys, it's hard. It's hard being a busy working mom with kids in sports and making sure that they're getting that proper nutrition. So we do the best we can, and then we take our capsules every day to bridge that gap between what we should be eating, the seven to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables, to what we actually are eating. So it's, it's the perfect balance, and it's keeping my family healthy. So let's knock on wood because we've just been in contamination zone this morning and that's not cool with me. So you guys, let me just show you. Let me show you. Okay, this is what I took this morning and you guys, I'm gonna take more. I call it doubling up. So I'm, this is what I took this morning and I'm gonna do this again as soon as I get off of here because I know that I need that extra nutrition to keep my immune system really fired up today. Okay, have a blessed weekend and hopefully I'll see you soon.